Welcome back to American Litstery. Today we look back at the unknown history behind the original draft of F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. Been in the editing business for quite some time now. And uh, with everything that gets brought to me, you know, we have to go through and make some changes. Um, with F. Scott Fitzgerald, it was no exception. When he brought to me the, uh, the Great Gatsby for the first time, read it and I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. But you know, as we went on, I suggested a few alterations to the story. One of them being the character of Reasonable Charlie. I think that Reasonable Charlie was, was such a good character. I don't know what anyone is talking about, really. I think he was, he was pretty good. Swell to see you, cousin. Swell to see you too, cousin. Tom. Why, Nick, I haven't seen you since our days back in New Haven. And you are? I'm Reasonable Charlie. Why do they call you that? Well, they call me Reasonable Charlie because I'm the only person in this book with a reasonable amount of money, and therefore I'm the only one that actually has a conscience. Well, it certainly is splendid to meet you. I don't like it. I heard that. One of the scenes with Reasonable Charlie that stick out to me was uh, the scene right after Tom's party where it's just Nick and Reasonable Charlie in the train station. And Reasonable Charlie's there, but, I mean, he's not helping or anything, it's... Where am I? Oh, you're up? What time is it? It's like 3 a.m. Last night. You went hard, my friend. You went hard. Do you remember? Of course I remember. I wasn't drinking, you know, because prohibition is a thing, and alcohol is illegal. There's just something about him that I just couldn't connect with. These books are all real. Real words. They're all real. Wow. I bet they're pretty expensive, too. You know, I bet these parties are pretty expensive. Gatsby sure has a lot of money that he's wasting on these parties. You know, the Valley of Ashes, they need a lot of money. I feel like Gatsby should be donating his money to them, not just wasting it all on these parties for God knows what reason. What is his motive behind all of this? Does anyone know why he does this? Does anyone know why he has all these parties? You're still talking? Look, I don't, I don't know what everyone's complaining about. Like, I think Reasonable Charlie is my absolute favorite out of out of all of them, he's so nice. F. Scott's a great man and all, and I love him, but I'm pretty sure he was drunk when he wrote him into the book. What? Whatever, Richard. You're the worst cousin in the family. Nobody, nobody likes you at all, especially your mom, Richard. Jay, what are you doing? This is a restaurant. I apologize for what? This man right here, this is the man that fixed the 1919 World Series. Have you seen these cufflinks? They made a real human teeth. Yeah, I, I don't feel comfortable here. This is a really sketchy place and this is a really sketchy guy. No offense, but I just really feel like this is a place that I shouldn't be. Old well, sport, this is one of my friends. This is one of my oldest You have weird friends. I, I don't like this. Can I, I want to go. Charlie, who invited you? Well, you guys do have some things in common. You both have a lot of money. All right. You both love me. True. I do love your wife. And you both hate reasonable Charlie. Very much. Oh my God, what is his problem? Honestly, every single time he just shows up by my house Uninvited hey and guys. just walk. Oh, oh, hello, old sport. Hi, how's it going? Uh, it's 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 uh, it's going. It's going, yeah. Just I, I didn't get it. Oh, Jay, you always look so cool. Yeah, well, this is kind of weird and awkward, and I really don't want to be here. Oh, Charlie, at least stay for a little while. Yeah, well, I feel really uncomfortable, and I... Charlie, sit back down. Such a shame, I was just getting to know you. Nice, but I don't want to be part of whatever obscene drinking binge you guys are going to go on. Charlie? Besides, 
The Department of Transportation says that drunk Charlie. drivers are ten times more likely to get in an accident. Charlie, it's down. Okay. One more outburst like that, and I will have you looking like William McKinley after Teddy took office. And you know, as an editor, I don't like to go and write the whole story for the author. But I sat down with F. Scott and I made it very clear to him that if you wanted to sell any books at all, you just have to cut the character of Reasonable Charlie altogether. Stupid editors telling me just how to write in my book? Like, they're writers. They're not writers. Stupid editors. You don't, you don't even understand my creative processes, okay? He just didn't fit very well in the plot. Hey, Jake! Oh, yes, what's for? Uh, we just hit someone with our car. Mm hmm Like, we just hit her and kept going like we hit a bug. I mean, like, I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of money. I can't pay bail. Look here, old sport. Hitting people is a part of life. When you're driving down the freeway at 70 miles an hour, you gotta understand that every once in a while you're gonna hit someone, old sport. But we, we shouldn't be going 70 miles per hour. Like, there's a speed limit, and there's a law. Old and... sport, when you're as rich as I am, it doesn't matter what you do. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not, as, I'm not as rich as you are. No, the more I just went on reading the book, the more I just hated the character so much. Oh, hey George. How's it going? How's the wife? We've got a problem. A big problem. <laughs> I hope it's not a problem with the missus. <laughs> Women, right? Charlie, you made me shoot Gatsby! If you went to ducks... Okay, I'll say it. He's an alcoholic. <laughs> this was Great Gatsby? Wasn't even my best book. My, my best book was called I'm Not an Alcoholic, So Stop Calling Me One by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Yeah, we definitely need to get F. Scott into rehab. Whatever, Richard. It's just nobody even likes you, Richard. Just you remember that one time when Grandma forgot your birthday? Ha ha! I remember. She hates you. <laughs> when we come back, we look at the original draft of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, where the raven was, in fact, a crow? How absurd. Stay tuned. Why is... <laughs> Talking about returning to normalcy, stupid Wilson Hardy, because nothing is normal anymore. Absolutely nothing returns to normalcy for me.